The question of who owns the Panama Canal, the Panamanians or the Americans, was raised in public today at a giant rally in Panama City. The strongman running Panama, General Omar Torrijos, said Panamanians will die for control. Our correspondent, Tom Streithorst, was there, and here is his story. Since June, the Panama Canal has been the subject of closed-door negotiations between the governments of the United States and Panama, which seeks a radical revision in the status of the canal. About two months ago, the Panamanian government announced a mass rally to be held today to the accompaniment of a wave of nationalist propaganda. Then the government began to worry about the possibility of violence. Too many people were expected to come to the rally site, which is only 400 yards from the American-controlled canal zone. The government, fearing that a recurrence of the 1964 anti-American riots might jeopardize the negotiations, tried to defuse the situation, giving it a festive rather than belligerent character. Fans occupied strategic street corners, dancing in the streets was encouraged. In addition, the government elected to defer plans to give out 150,000 commemorative machetes. The demonstration was organized by Panama's strongman, General Omar Torrijos, in honor of the third anniversary of the military coup which brought him to power. The presence of 50,000 Americans here and the Canal Zone have always been emotional issues in Panama. And Torrijos has demanded, but not yet tried to enforce, Panamanian sovereignty over the zone. In his speech, Torrijos said, I know that many of you would like to go to the zone today, but nobody's going. Let's wait and see how negotiations work. We have a sole recourse if our talks with the United States fail, the Panamanian strongman added. If we have to die, we will die because we want a freer country. Still, for the time being at least, Panama's dictator wants patience and negotiation, not clashes with the United States. Tom Strighthorse, NBC News, Panama City.